Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we're going to be editing a user submitted photograph. Uh, I got this photograph uh, via email and in the email uh, the photographer asked me if I could make it a bit more darker and get, create a bit more atmosphere into the photograph and if possible also add a flame into the lantern that is in the photograph. So that's exactly what we did. But with that said, let's open up Photoshop and let's get started. So here you guys can see the photograph that I got in email. And uh, as you can see, it's quite bright. It's taken during daytime and um, it kind of lacks a story in a way, or it could do with some atmospheric feel to it. And uh, I think at making it a bit more darker, kind of making it look like it might be shot during the night time would work a bit better for this photograph because of the lantern and uh, actually because we have the lantern here but we don't have a flame so we'll also add a flame there to kind of just tie this photo together kind of get the all the elements in this photograph to work together nicely so with that said this is what I did in Photoshop I'll just show you guys the before and after here a few times so as you guys can see I've added some smoke to kind of create this atmospheric feel. I've done some dodging and burning and added the flame, a tiny little glow and just color graded and darkened the image quite a bit as well. So let's go through this uh, Photoshop file layer by layer and kind of talk our way through it. So here is the original image and here's what I did first. I have a curves adjustment panel that I used to color grade the image and make the uh, make it a bit darker. So that's what I have here. I'll open it up quickly so I can show you guys. As you can see, here's the RGB channel. So I've uh, actually I've kind of pulled up the shadows a tiny bit, but then all the midtones and highlights are darker than before. I've also color graded the image. Uh, I've taken away quite a bit of red and added a bit of red only to the highlights. I've taken away quite a bit of green as well and then I've also taken away quite a bit of blue and that way added uh, yellow into it but then added blue into the shadows. So that's what I did in the first curves adjustment panel. And then I have a hue and saturation panel that kind of de just desaturates the green forest behind our subject and makes it look a bit more yellowish in a way. Now, this is important, we have a levels adjustment panel here, which just kind of makes the shadows darker. Let's see here, I have the shadows which are darker and I've also pulled the highlights a bit brighter and midtones a bit up. So that's what we have here, just use the levels to kind of uh, compress the shadows and brighten the highlights a bit, kind of added like contrast a bit. And then I have a curves adjustment panel here, which I kind of just used to darken uh, the edges of the image a bit. Then we have here uh, my first kind of fog layer, which I did first. I added fog and then I have a uh, mat layer mask, which I again used the same fog brush, but now masked away some of the uh, extra fog that I had here. So this is without the layer mask and this is with the layer mask. So that's what I have here. And then I added a glow around the lantern. We still don't have the flame, but I kind of just wanted to see what direction I would be taking this photograph into. Then we have another curve adjustment panel here. Again, just darkening the image. As you guys can see, just pull down the midtones quite a bit and darken the image even more. I have a color fill layer here uh, set on color and an opacity of 15%, which just kind of adds a bit of this uh, bluish tonality into the image as a whole. Then I just did a stamp visible to kind of uh, mark my first stage of editing. So now I'm quite happy with the direction I'm going to, and now I'll start doing more fixes and editing further. 
uh, I saw this part of the image and didn't really like how bright it was, so I just clone stamped it out. Not not a very cl clean clone stamp in a way, but it doesn't really that matter, matter that much. Uh, the fog that I'm going to be adding and blurs and all that kind of uh, will hide that uh, corner anyway. So that's what we have here. Then here is now my second, let's see, can we see uh, my second fog layer now using more like greenish uh, smoke. And again, I layer masked it using the same brush tool. And here you can see without the layer mask and just got rid of some of the smoke that I added at the first round. Then I have a curse adjustment panel here, which again, just color grades the image a bit further and darkens it even more. So always when I add fog, the photo kind of gets brighter. So then I need to again, darken it a bit. And then here again, I just, did some color grading for the image, added a bit of blue and that way kind of got this blue tonality going on. Then we have the flame, which I just added from a photo of a candle, took the flame, layer masked it out and added it there. Uh, I pulled up the saturation of the flame by using a clipped hue and saturation uh, layer on top, kind of just got more color going on in the flame and then added a glow around the lantern using the gradient tool nothing fancy there just use the gradient tool uh, set on a overlay and then just masked out it a bit so that way I kind of added the glow and then I brightened up one area of the image kind of added these light rays that you can't really even see but kind of just added these light rays coming out from there and then again a clone stamp layer actually this uh this is a sharpened layer so what i did i first created a stamp visible layer and then just sharpened it quite a bit actually just because the photo was a bit unsharp so i just thought i'll go for it and kind of just sharpen the image as a whole uh, the smoke looks much better when sharpened so it looks quite nice then here's what I call the lazy man's dodge and burn. So I just used the curves adjustment panels, one brighter and one darker, and used the blend if commands from here to kind of blend uh, the layers from, uh, or fade away the layers from the darks or the brights, depending what I'm doing, dodging and burning. You can see a Tuesdays with Lowry that I did, I think like a month or two ago, where I taught this technique. So make sure to check that out. Then I did some extra dodging on the face as well as the hair and arms. Then I have an oil paint filter which kind of softens up the sharpening that I did and creates this nice painterly feel to the photograph. And then I just uh, got rid of it from the face and the, everywhere where the skin is as the oil paint texture doesn't really look good on skin. And then finally three layers, just quick skin retouches, got rid of some of the uh, little things that came out when using the sharpening. And finally here, the last layer, which adds, you won't probably even see, but you see these little dots here. I added these little kind of, I don't know what those would be called, some kind of texture um, particles that I just wanted to add to the photo to kind of get it a bit more magical feel into the photograph. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just adding smoke, adding those little particles, sharpening the image, dodging and burning, uh, and adding the flame kind of tied this photograph together and making it darker kind of uh, made sense because of the lantern that we have in this photograph. But yeah, so once more, let's just take a look at the before and after. Here you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and as always, if you have any questions or requests for future episodes, make sure to uh, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. Also make sure to like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next Tuesday. Bye.